In this video, we'll be talking a little bit more about the dashboard. We've already covered the My Profile section and the um, navigation bar up top, you know, on the KV Core site. But now we're going to be diving a little bit more into the whole dashboard and I'll tell you what everything does, how to utilize this and how to organize it to benefit your needs. My name is Karamoko from Karamoko Homes and let's get right into it. Oh, make sure to like the video and subscribe and leave all your questions in the comment section below or you can directly reach out to me. All of my contact information is in the description right below those like buttons and subscribe buttons. So uh, yeah, let's get right on with it. So when you log on to KV Core, the dashboard is what you will see. Uh, at the very top, like I said, we've already covered this navigation bar over here. And right below that, there is a little box up top. This is where uh, the KV Core team will usually have announcements, maybe new you know, updates to KV Core, maybe uh, upcoming events or anything of the sorts. And on the right hand side, just a tiny bit, you will have two buttons right here. You have the a link to download the mobile app. Uh, because KV Core also does have a mobile app you can download on the phone, which we'll cover uh, in a, another video at some point. Uh, but you can click here to get that downloaded and everything you do on the desktop version will also be synced with the mobile version, which is pretty cool. Uh, if you have any questions about the mobile app before I actually release the video, feel free to reach out to me and we can talk about that, okay? Again, all my contact info is in the description. And if we scroll down just a little bit, we have three different boxes here. Uh, we have today's objectives, we have the playbook section, and we have the KV Core training section. Okay, so the today's objective section here is gonna have three buttons as of the recording of this video. There's a build your pipeline, the get seller leads, and how to win with the marketplace. So, so the build your pipeline button will take you to uh, the lead engine tab that you see here, which we'll get to a little bit later on. So I don't want to get too much into it, but this will basically help you create landing pages, squeeze pages, basically help you um, get leads into KV Core, get their information and start marketing to those people to build your pipeline. The other two buttons down here are, uh, you know, links to basically selling you extra things maybe getting seller leads through social media ads you know facebook and instagram that's uh, the kv core team will manage for you and uh, you also have a link to the marketplace where you can purchase additional features plugins add-ons or upgrades for kv core right next to that we have the playbook section uh, we'll get to the playbooks very very soon also this playbooks are basically a um, to-do list of different tasks you can accomplish on KV Core. And we'll get more into that later on, so don't even worry about it j uh, just now. But playbooks are just a um, streamlined way of achieving certain marketing um, objectives you might have uh, that KV Core makes easy for you. And then last but not least, we have the KV Core training box right here. So all of these are quick links to courses or, or Q&A pages or, you know, webinars that the KV Core team offers. So if you want to tune into those, uh, you can, or if you want to keep watching these videos and you want to directly reach out to me, I can also help you out in any way that I can, but you do have those resources here as well. Okay. And now if we scroll down just a tiny bit, this is the meat and potatoes of the dashboard. Think of the dashboard as your newspaper. It'll tell you everything that's been going on, when things happen, what leads are doing what actions, how many people are visiting your website, how many new emails you got. It basically just shows you the current events of your CRM. So if you notice here, there's plenty of different tabs here. There's an activity tab, which is what I'm looking at right now. This will show me by default all the activity that's been going on. Yes, so this will show you all the activity that's been going on. So just, you know, for example sake, uh, we have a new lead here that I generated through an open house uh, four hours ago. So that'll show me uh, this box here. And uh, it, it will also tell me when people view listings on my website. Looks like my friend Colin here viewed this property. Uh, Monica also viewed a listing. 
and uh, Marcella also just got a market report of Torrents, which is pretty cool. So I can see everything that's going on with all of my leads here. And if we go to the calls tab over here, this will show me all of the calls that I have to do. So um, if I scheduled any calls ahead of time or if I assigned a campaign to some of my leads in which a call was scheduled, it will show me that here so that, you know, I can go ahead and make those calls. OK, it'll tell me, you know, how many past due calls, upcoming calls or which ones are due today. I can snooze them or I can delete these tasks and also have a task section, you know, um, where so looks like I need to send a text or email with properties in Nick's area. So that is a task that I need to do. I can see all my tasks, the past due tasks or upcoming tasks. Also, there's a calendar section. So this right here will show me basically all of the events I have on my calendar. So in I think two videos ago, I showed you guys how to link your Google Calendar to KV Core. So by doing so, you'll be able to see everything that's on your calendar right here, which is pretty cool. Um, and then last but not least, we have the My Business tab. Uh, this is all janky. This is not accurate information. I always upload uh, fake contacts into my KV Core. Um, so this is absolutely not accurate. However, this is supposed to show you um, how many total contacts you have, how many are in the sphere or prospects uh, status, uh, how many are new leads, active leads, clients, under contract and closed. So this will kind of show you an overview of where everyone kind of stands in your database. So if we go back to the activity tab right here, you can also filter through all of your different activities. I can only filter and view property views only, questions, showing requests, valuations, uh, new listings, email events, so many different things. And I have some quick buttons right here also to automatically access those. So there you have it. That is pretty much the full overview of the dashboard section of KV Core. If you have any questions whatsoever on anything we did or covered, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye bye.